I'm Sarah Lester, the manager of this beautiful new branch, and thank you all so much for coming. We have a great collection of books, CDs, DVDs, audiobooks, magazines that we hope you will all enjoy. Thank you to the library, to the community, to the friends of the library for their tremendous support. And it is my pleasure to introduce our city librarian, Luis Herrera. Thank you, Sarah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, San Francisco. Isn't this a great, glorious day? What a super day. We uh, ordered the weather just for this event. Actually, exactly a year ago to the day, uh, we had the pleasure of, of the grand reopening for the Excelsior Library. It's a phenomenal event. Uh, this event today uh, is extra special as well uh, because this is the first library in 40 years to open with the San Francisco Public Library. Yay. Isn't that great? It's our 27th library. And in 2000, San Franciscans said yes to libraries by passing the Branch Library Improvement Bond Program. Uh, which called for the renovation of 19 branch libraries, five new library buildings, really a, a total makeover for the system. So this is another example. A year from now, we'll have half of the libraries either completed or under renovations. How's that for a testament for the San Francisco support of our libraries? I want to take a moment to acknowledge Sarah Lester and her staff. Let me tell you about Sarah. She's the one that spearheaded the collection development, buying all the books, getting the library ready, working with the architects. But even before we opened today, she was already involved in the community, having a series of programs connecting with uh, the senior housing here at Mercy Housing. She had a program that dealt with the Medicare prescription program, standing room only. It was really well received, but that's the kind of excitement that's a kind of community building that we have thanks to Sarah. So I want to acknowledge her and give her a great round of applause. <laughs> Along with Sarah, we have other staff members that I'd like to acknowledge. We have Melvin White Bull, Shu Ma, and L. Jehu. They are the folks that are going to be delivering library services for the residents of Mission Bay. Also, people that have worked behind the scenes with the architects, with the Department of Public Works, library staff have done a wonderful job. I want to acknowledge two people, Joan Goldman, the acting chief of branches, and Elsie Wong, Chinatown branch manager, but wearing another hat as district manager for the chief of branch office. So where are they? I want to make sure that Joan, there you go, Joan Goldman, Elsie Wong, thank you for the great work that you've done in putting it all together. Uh, with us, we also have uh, a partnership with the Redevelopment Agency. This is a true community endeavor. Uh, and I want to acknowledge the folks not only from the Redevelopment Agency, Pam Sims, Amy Neches, and Marsha Rosen. Are they here? Let's see. Let's applaud anyway, absolutely. Great, great job. And our other partner, uh, it's very evident, we have a wonderful senior high rise here. Uh, Mercy Housing. We're looking forward to an ongoing strong relationship with you. Um, and I'd like to also acknowledge folks in attendance, Sharon Christian and Jose Vega. I know they're here, so this is a great job with them. There you go. Thank you for your work. It's now my pleasure to introduce Donna Barrow, who is the Executive Director of the Friends of the Library. And it goes without saying that community building is about a partnership. And the Friends, through the Neighborhood Library Campaign, have done a fabulous job of providing additional support for the bond program. So it's my pleasure to introduce Donna Barrow. Donna? Thanks, Luis. Welcome, everyone. This is just the most phenomenal day, and I, I don't know how many of you were planning to drop by for a little while for the opening, and now are thinking, why didn't I bring my lounge chair and a book? So <laughs> you can get the book inside, but uh, spend the day because it's going to be a gorgeous, gorgeous day here. Friends of the San Francisco Public Library is the uh, private side partner to the library system, and uh, as such, we are raising funds annually for programs and exhibits and um, other types of services for the library. And 
We are also raising $16 million to furnish the 24 branches that are being built or renovated around the city. So um, we worked alongside of um, Luis and his wonderful staff and the great folks from DPW uh, in making sure that once the library was built, it had tables and chairs and comfortable little nooks and crannies and all of those sorts of things. And so we want to thank everyone that's been involved with that. Uh, we have a superb team of folks at Friends of the Library who have been working, uh, doing community outreach and, and um, meeting with folks and, and helping to build the vision around this library. And I especially want to thank Marion Chatfield-Taylor, Elena Engel, Coleman Conroy, and all of the others on my staff. They've just been phenomenal and they continue to do an incredible job uh, in neighborhoods all around the city. So if your library is not online yet, um, be watching for Marion and her team, and uh, they'll be out there, and they'll be um, helping you do the same good stuff um, for your branches. Um, I want to also talk about uh, the folks that have um, really step forward from the community. This area, although it feels in some ways like a new neighborhood, has been a community for a long time. And there have been some community folks that, that have been active and have been dedicated and passionate to making this a livable, vibrant place. Um, some of those folks, one of them is a former board member of ours, Glenn Remiski. I hope, Glenn, are you here? He is an absolutely wonderful guy. Okay, well, we'll just give a cheer for Glenn anyway because he's everywhere at once. Um, Karen Knowles Pierce, who you'll get to meet in a little bit, and Wendy La Riviere, they have just been incredible and have been responsible for a lot of the vibrancy that you will see in this library. Um, community leadership is one of those things that just doesn't happen automatically. Luis said that, uh, you know, obviously there are partnerships. Sometimes they're not so obvious, and teasing those up out of a community sometimes can be a challenge. So when you see someone who's ahead of a, of a committee like this or who is, has, has spearheaded something, just thank them every time you see them because they're doing phenomenal work on your behalf. I also want to acknowledge some of the, the donors that have made um, the, the furnishing of this library possible. We have some real visionary foundations and, and individuals um, among us. The Bernard Osher Foundation, Fairlawn Capital Management, the Giants Community Fund, Andrea and Glenn Remiski, Washington Mutual, uh, Wells Fargo, and with special thanks to Safeway for supporting the opening celebration today. It's always nice to have yummy goodies when you're celebrating. So thank you all so much. Welcome, and um, let's just keep going and celebrating. Thank you very much, Donna. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Mayor Gavin Newsom uh, in a few words I think are in order. First of all, he's extremely supportive of our library system. Uh, his vision for the city in terms of youth development, uh, in terms of education and culture, very much touch uh, on our vision for the library. So I really appreciate, Mayor, your support for the San Francisco Public Library. Thanks, Luis. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Oh, you guys should come with me. I got about five more events today. I want you there. After someone gets me some sunblock, I apologize. Irish skin. I'm still recovering from last week's parade. Let me, uh, let me welcome all of you uh, to this remarkable new library and ultimately this remarkable new community, old and new. Of course, we uh, do not uh, for a moment suggest uh, that we just got here. Uh, many of you have been here uh, for uh, generations and we appreciate your patience as we begin to revitalize the 303 acres uh, that we are standing in uh, here at the Mission Bay uh, site. This is a remarkable endeavor, an effort that has been taking shape over the course of the last few decades to really link San Francisco's proud past to its proud present, and most importantly, to its vibrant future. You are right here, uh, just literally a stone's throw away from what will be very shortly a 43-acre UCSF Mission Bay campus site, the Gladstone Institute and Alexandria, and all these other incredible institutions. I, I, I honestly, I don't want to overstate this, but I don't think we all yet get how lucky we are to be where we are. This is the future. This is the most dynamic area, the most dynamic city, and the most dynamic state, and yes, in spite of the leadership in Washington, D.C., the most dynamic country in the world. This is it. I mean, this is the heart and soul. And uh, 
And, and so I, I just put it in perspective. We got that stem cell institute just right across the street that promises to offer the discoveries for HIV and AIDS and Parkinson's and diabetes and cancers. You've got Al Gore, and I'll say Al Gore proudly, current TV right down the block, his new television network just down the block. Uh, you're going to have some of the most important research being done on the planet just right across the way. Some of the brightest, smartest, most capable human beings in the world that are being recruited for research just right across this way. And you've got a world-class library to anchor it all, to make it all meaningful. And that's why I'm so happy to be here. Not against the library. And, and, and let's just state the obvious. This is not your mother or grandmother's library. Uh, this is not that library you sheepishly walk in and there's an intimidating librarian standing there and you quietly are told shh, shh, shh throughout the entire time you're there. No, we figured it out that libraries are more than just a place to quietly read or check out a book. They are anchors. They're community centers. And it's about building community. It's about re vitalizing community. It's about economic development. It's about connecting technology uh, to individuals. It's about bridging a gap. It's about equalization. It's about the fact that when you want into a library, that it's your library, regardless of your income, your race, or nationality, this is your place where you have the freedom to navigate billions and billions of pages of information uh, just at a fingertip. That is extraordinary. And this library behind me is extraordinary because it's the first of its kind for us. An integrated urban design library with Mission Creek Senior Center, the ability to focus on youth needs, adolescent needs. Pre, uh, uh, we're hoping to do a lot with preschool in here. We've got teenage space, so a little bit more noisy. We've reconfigured it with the library in the center, so there's a connection to everybody. The technology that's being offered here is state-of-the-art and extraordinary. Uh, and ultimately, what we're trying to do with Louise is get to the next level where city services can be more integrated into the libraries. Uh, we do have the remarkable privilege of your $105.9 million to revitalize our neighborhood library branches. We do have the benefit and privilege of using those dollars, not just for today, four million, incidentally, of your dollars that were used here, half a million because of Donna's great work at Friends of the Library leveraging the private sector. But with those dollars, we're going to extend this next year into the sunset. We're going to extend into uh, West Portal uh, areas, San Francisco, and then we're going to complete this grand vision, hopefully by the end of 2009, right? Thank you, Charles, uh, President of the Library Commission. And we're going to do it reasonably on budget. Did you catch that? See, the, the Phil Ting, the assessor recorder, is here. He caught that. He understands that what reasonably means, margin of error. Uh, and so does uh, Fiona Ma, who is an accountant by trade, uh, who will be up in Sacramento helping us get more state money. Thank you very much, Fiona, for being here and uh, for your help and support. And finally, let me acknowledge your supervisor, Chris Daly, uh, who was also instrumental in saying, yes, I do support the library system and navigated through the finance committee, uh, an historic budget for all of us here in San Francisco uh, that allowed this capital campaign to move forward, to accept the gifts from Friends of the Library, and allows us, again, all those linkages and resources to connect all of the disparate dots from the Redevelopment Agency, Department of Children, Youth, and Family, the San Francisco Unified School District, Community College System, SF State, all of which we hope will be integrated uniquely and remarkably here down in Mission Bay. With that, I conclude and I thank you for all your support for this effort. I tell you, it sure makes it wonderful to be the city librarian when we have a mayor that really supports the library and gets it. It's terrific. Thank you again for, for your comments. It's now my pleasure to introduce Supervisor Chris Daly. And uh, Supervisor Daly, you know you boast a main library in your district. Now you have another library. So welcome, and thanks again for your leadership. Thank you, Mr. Librarian. Mr. Mayor, uh, while uh, I guess I still have seniority for the next uh, five months on uh, Supervisor Ma, uh, let me invite uh, the Democratic nominee uh, to the State Assembly from San Francisco's west side, Fiona Ma.
Thank you very much, and it's so great when we're opening up a new library, and libraries have been a major priority for us, whether it's uh, renovating them, expanding them, or building new ones. And like the mayor said, uh, they are more than just information centers. They are now community centers. Um, and it will be my job up in Sacramento to fight for more funding uh, for all the libraries since we did not pass the bonds this past election. So uh, that is my commitment to all of you, and thank you all for coming out and supporting the library. Thank you, Fiona. Uh, let me thank everybody for uh, coming out uh, to this. This is uh, uh, pretty exciting for me. Uh, the mayor and I, we've been uh, uh, kind of hopscotching uh, with each other from groundbreaking to, to ribbon cutting uh, in the district. Uh, and as you can tell, we are building. Uh, and so if you are impacted by uh, construction related noise, you can uh, call my office or, or better yet, the uh, uh, to the California State Assembly or the mayor's office. And if you're uh, not impacted by the uh, construction related noise, uh, let me just say how outstanding and exciting uh, this is. We are building uh, a San Francisco uh, for all of us uh, in a vision uh, where all of our needs are taken care of. And uh, really, uh, I get some flack sometimes uh, from uh, the mayor, sometimes from the old mayor uh, for some of the development deals uh, that I'm involved in. but. Uh, to Mayor Newsom and, and Mayor Brown, uh, you should know that uh, this Mission Bay uh, development agreement uh, is the model on which uh, I base all of uh, my work when uh, developers come uh, into my office asking for approval. Uh, Mission Bay is the first use uh, of this tool called a development agreement, and it's uh, kind of a, a legal term, and uh, not to get into a detailed explanation, uh, of what it is, but uh, basically the whole development is planned out with uh, the rights in terms of the building uh, envelopes and the building sizes, uh, and also in terms of the public benefits. Uh, and there are significant public benefits in Mission Bay, and thank you, former Mayor uh, Willie Brown, uh, for when you did it, 25% affordable housing uh, in the uh, Mission Bay development. That was unprecedented. Uh, at the time that uh, this deal uh, was made. And uh, when you made that deal, I just I kept trying to uh, go up a little bit higher every time. And so uh, the developers probably uh, aren't too happy about it. But uh, Mission Bay set the standard. Uh, and you see it here, where we have uh, downstairs uh, the world-class library, Mayor Newsom uh, talked about, and upstairs uh, housing for uh, San Francisco seniors, uh, many of whom uh, from uh, various backgrounds I've had the occasion to visit upstairs once. Uh, but it's just an amazing building. Mercy uh, did an incredible job uh, upstairs. Uh, and for folks who otherwise wouldn't be able to afford uh, to live with dignity uh, the remainder of uh, their years here in San Francisco, uh, this is a real opportunity, a uh, real beautiful convergence of uh, library uh, and housing that is so desperately uh, needed in the city. Uh, I'm very excited about the intergenerational programming and the possibilities uh, for that. Uh, in, uh, in this building, uh, and it's an uh, incredibly exciting day. Uh, now, Mr. Mayor, uh, maybe if we can uh, employ the help of former Mayor Brown to uh, fix the 4th Street Bridge, uh, we'll have the light rail. <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll have the light rail uh, coming through, uh, and uh, the vision will be uh, almost uh, complete. Uh, January, I think, is what we're talking about. April. April. See, every, every time I ask, it's... <laughs> Uh, a couple of months, it's that bridge. So anybody has any ideas on that bridge, uh, come and uh, petition us. Uh, libraries certainly are uh, much more than accessing books or uh, accessing information. They are real community centers. I've been to political meetings uh, at branch libraries. I've been to cultural events. Uh, I've been to uh, readings in Russian uh, at branch libraries. Uh, I've been to uh, issue warrant meetings. Uh, I know that I've uh, attended a uh, meeting out in uh, the Bayview branch uh, on, uh, on violence issues. Uh, there are places where communities can come together uh, and uh, either find a book to relax uh, and uh, to pick up some information or, or really to come together on uh, the issues of the day. Uh, that's in part what makes this exciting. Uh, another thing that makes this exciting uh, is the influx of money in this budget. And I do have to also acknowledge uh, our assessor, Phil Ting, uh, who uh, through a creative, uh, creative and aggressive uh, stance in his department is going out to access more property tax dollars, which is important uh, for the library and their baseline, and is going to uh, make 
the library uh, have the ability to bring back some uh, of the hours that we lost over the last uh, couple of years uh, in the library. So uh, in terms of uh, this building being open Sunday, please petition your librarian. There's some money uh, included in the budget uh, for uh, a librarian Herrera to consider uh, additional hours, and I think that's a good thing. So with that said, this is an exciting day. Thank you, Mission Bay. Uh, thank you to the neighbors in Mission Creek. Uh, and uh, let's, uh, let's get a little bit closer to the ribbon cutting. Thank you. Let me take a moment to acknowledge one of my colleagues. I really appreciate her being here, Fire Chief Joanna Hayes-White, back here. Thank you for being here. And uh, also, I'd like to invite to the podium former Mayor Willie Brown. Thank you, Willie. Where is Marsha Rosen? Is she? Well, that explains, did you? Uh, that explains her absence. I asked that question because every time I convened a meeting at City Hall about Mission Bay, I had to have Marsha Rosen in the room. I had to have her in the room because she was the constant reminder of those kinds of community benefits that Chris Daly spoke so eloquently about that ultimately became Mission Bay and became very much a part of Mission Bay. And I must tell you, nothing is more demonstrative of her importance to this project than this ribbon cutting that we're engaging in today and the intergenerational housing in which this measure is pre presently placed. Mission Bay has frankly been a project that we are all involved in whether it was the ballpark part of the project, whether it was the very first component of this project was not the 43-acre UC campus for building purposes, but the Rick Sorrow Community Housing. Catellus had the good judgment to accept an opportunity to demonstrate its real commitment by making that space first available in that important piece of prime real estate and then to have a measure built there in which people can really live and people that can afford it. A combination of government, the private sector, the nonprofit sector, a quality builder and the Nibby brothers all produce that symbol. And now the most recent symbol is this one. And Mr. Mayor, it will be probably for the remainder of your term and your next term as mayor as this. The goal is to always upstage him at every event. He's so damn popular. Um, but in all seriousness, this Mission Bay neighborhood is a neighborhood that will be ongoing on and on and on. And the changes that will take place will only reflect the great quality and the commitment that your administration, the Board of Supervisors, the State of California, and the private sector entities that are involved and particularly the University of California to help make this the kind of new San Francisco neighborhood that will be the anchor tenant neighborhood for the South of Market Community Development. I am just delighted that we finally got this library done. And in San Francisco, if people looked at San Francisco, they would never vote for another library bond because it's clear at the local level we can cleverly do it on our own. We are a bad example for the rest of the state that got a bond passed, but you are to be congratulated because Friends of the Library and all of the other people who've been involved, plus the private sector, plus your own recognized leadership at City Hall, those combinations have produced one new library, one upgraded library after another here in San Francisco. And this is just the latest in libraries to be unfolded. 
And I hope, I sincerely hope, that you invite me to every one because I don't want to have to take credit from afar. Thank you. Thank you, Willie. The uh, Library Commission has been very visionary and, and wonderful in, in monitoring the Branch Library Improvement Program. We have quite a few commissioners here, but it's now my pleasure to welcome and introduce the President of the Library Commission, Charles Igueras. Charles? Thank you. Thank you. Well, welcome to the first great public venue in the Mission Bay Area. Now, of course, when I say that, I'm clearly biased, but where else can the community access a place nearly every day of the week, throughout the day and into the evening, year-round, and best of all, for free. This is that place. Now, when we broke ground on this branch uh, some time ago, uh, it was a, th that day was particularly rainy and uh, pretty nasty, actually. We were waiting for Mayor Brown to arrive as this was sometimes the case, not always, certainly, but sometimes. When he arrived, his car pulled up. Suddenly, the rain stopped, the clouds parted, and the sun shone. You remember that. <laughs> now, May, I don't know if you have anything to do with the weather today, but thank you if you did. Hey, I appreciate it. Now, the Take credit. Don't worry about it. <laughs> now, the fact is, as Luis mentioned, the mayor got it. And if the truth be told, the mayor was the impetus for our successful bond library improvement program that the voters, you all, voted in November of 2000 because he single-handedly created, enabled the Ocean View Library Branch. Previously, that neighborhood had been, frankly, underserved by a temporary facility. Mayor Brown found the money to enable the construction of that new branch. And so that's success, and it was a success because it opened in the early part of 2000, and I think you voters were probably encouraged by that success, and you supported the Bond Library Program Bond that came later that year. So Mayor Brown got it. Everyone gets it. Certainly Mayor Newsom, great supporter of this system. Each and every supervisor as well. They all get it. They get the fact that these libraries are, as has been mentioned, a community center, but it, they, they bring vitality and livability to every neighborhood across this city. Now, there's an expression in Texas that don't mess with Texas. Well, we've learned don't mess with library branches. We've got 24 projects we have to deliver to expectation. Now, that's no small task. You know, we're aided by an excellent array of folks. Now, we've talked a little bit about some of the collaborations, the partnerships that have made this branch possible. Those exist throughout the city. And what we have, and I have to, you know, uh, divulge that I'm an architect, and so I have a special appreciation for the team that designs and builds these facilities. Now, this particular project was designed by a firm called Prescott. Let me... I want to get it right. Prescott Santos. Now, do we have a representative from, from that firm here? You got to give this gentleman a hand. <laughs> and actually, Adele would probably appreciate if I said Santos Prescott, but you were here, so I started with Prescott. <laughs> At any rate, you know, this commission is, is really four square behind delivering every one of our projects according to that expectation. And as been alluded here, that's not going to be easy. But we're looking forward to the continued support across the spectrum of government, certainly, but also across this entire city. Because we all know that you love your libraries, and you're very passionate about them, and you, you get it too. You understand how very important they are to your respective communities. Now, I want to recognize in that, in that same breath the commission. The commission dedicated itself to one meeting a month to scrutinize to provide oversight to that bond program to ensure that the expectations are met. And we have two commissioners, at least two commissioners here this morning. Uh, my vice president, Stephen Coulter. Steve? And my commissioner, Jewel Gomez. Jewel? You know, this is actually my 10th year as a commissioner, and, and it's longer than I would have imagined, certainly. But I wouldn't be here but for the fact that I have an excellent array of commissioners who join me 
in providing the oversight to the system. I wouldn't be here as well if I hadn't been able to move from the excellent stewardship of Susan Hildreth, who you know, gave birth in large part to this program, to our new librarian, city librarian, Luis Herrera. We're sometimes confused, Higueras, Herrera, similar. We're really fortunate to have Luis here, and we're, we hope to have him here throughout certainly the life of this program. I think it's going to wear on him a little, but I think, I think he's in for the long haul. So with that said, thank you very much. Have heart. There are only four more speakers. Thank you. All right, we'll pick up the pace. Thank you, Charles. And again, thank you to the commission for their wonderful support and leadership. Uh, we have some proclamations from Senator Jackie Spears' office, as well as Assemblyman Mark Leno. And I'd like to recognize Reese Eisbell, who's here from the Assembly Person's office. Thank you for being here. The proclamations are on display inside the library, so please take a look at them. Uh, any venture, such as a new library, and this partnership with the Redevelopment Agency, Mercy Housing, uh, and the entire Branch Library Improvement Program requires a true partnership among city agencies. And it's been a pleasure to work with the Department of Public Works, who are in essence doing the actual work of building these libraries. We have a new Director of Public Works, Fred Abadi. Uh, he's been a great partner in this, and I'd like to ask him to invite him to the podium to see a few comments. Fred, welcome. Thank you. Uh, I'll be very short. Uh, we at the Department of Public Works are very excited to be a part of the largest building campaign in San Francisco Public Library and being in the position to work on the $105 million implementation program. Um, as Luis mentioned, the uh, library improvement program calls for 19 libraries to be ma with major renovation and four leased facilities to be replaced with new facilities on their own uh, uh, city-owned uh, ownership and one brand new library. We feel very fortunate to be uh, part of the program and helping with the design and construction management services. And uh, I would like to thank the leadership of uh, Luis Herrero and Commission President Charles Higueras for their leadership. Thank you. And um, I also would like to acknowledge uh, a few people. Uh, our uh, program manager, Marilyn Thompson, who is not here today, he's off, but he, she is really the one who is uh, managing the whole program. I would also like to thank Mindy Linsky, who is the bond program manager. I also want to acknowledge the uh, Architects for the uh, for the project, uh, the Hardison, Komutsu, Iwilich, and Tucker, and also the construction uh, contractor, Cahill, and their subcontractors. Thank you very much. I mentioned a little bit earlier that uh, there was a lot of community process around getting this library together, and. I mentioned that there have been some real champions and, and heroes in doing that. And you're about to meet one of them. She is um, a longtime resident of the area. She is a community activist par excellence and a real force of nature. And I'd like you to welcome Karen Knowles Pierce. Well, thank you, Donna. I didn't know I was a force of nature. Thank you. Welcome everyone, and I'll reiterate what others have said, and isn't this just the most perfect day? I think the only thing that we have that's missing is sunscreen, but that's okay. Uh, welcome to the new, newest branch of the San Francisco Public Library here at Mission Bay. It is really amazing. Um, Charles talked about the groundbreaking, and that is a true story. I was going to tell you that the sun literally burst out as former Mayor Brown arrived in his red fedora. And for the, for the period of our groundbreaking ceremony, it was sunny and lovely. And when it was over, the rains returned as we all scampered back to our cars. So that really is a true story. And I'm sure Mayor Brown had something to do with that sunshine. 
the other thing I wanted to mention is I came across an old newspaper article a couple days ago. It was from 2000 or 2001, and it was a picture of the first building going up in the UCSF Mission Bay uh, campus, the Genentech building. That was f only five or six years ago. It's pretty amazing how this neighborhood has been transformed in such a short period of time. And we certainly have the administration of San Francisco to thank for that. Um, and so thank you to all, everyone involved. Um, I wanted to acknowledge the other members of the campaign committee. Everybody worked very hard on this, so we thank you. I'd particularly like to acknowledge my co-chair, Wendy LaRiviere, who unfortunately is out of town today and couldn't make it. I also want to say that without the work and, and passion of the friends, and particular Marion Chatfield Taylor, uh, we probably would not have done this in the two and a half years that we did it in. So I want to thank everyone, welcome everyone, Please come into the library and enjoy. Also remember, these are pledge cards. We may be open, but it doesn't mean we don't still need more money. So look for your pledge cards inside. Thank you to all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Karen. And now it's my pleasure to introduce uh, a dear friend and colleague, uh, my predecessor, Susan Hildreth, who is now the state librarian. It was quite really her vision uh, for the Branch Library Improvement Program that got us off to a great start uh, in renovating and really a total makeover for the branch system. So it's my pleasure. She's also, by the way, I need to mention, current president of the Public Library Association, Susan Hildreth. Susan. Well, hi, everybody. I know you've had lots of speechifying, and you want to get into that library. I know that's what you want. But I have to just thank everybody for being here. And I also have to make a comment. As former Mayor Brown mentioned, the Redevelopment Agency and all of our city fathers and mothers were really involved in this. And it's a unique urban development. And I can tell you that the library folks, the redevelopment folks, the Mercy folks, we all sat at tables, and we really negotiated to get you the best service you can ever imagine. And you are not looking at your mother's library. We're out there, we're community building, we're serving you, and it just makes me proud to see this building. Now, I have to say, I have to thank San Francisco for being the highest county once again when we had our Prop 81 election. You did it! Sorry it didn't make it, but uh, I know, I know for San Francisco, the local support is going to make wonderful things happen here that we started. And I just can't thank you all enough. You know, this building is your building. If it weren't for all of you out there, no matter how many talking heads you have up here, we wouldn't be doing this. So thank you. It's your library, and thanks to you. Thank you, Susan. We're almost done. So I'm going to ask Sarah to come back and join us. Sarah, are you ready to give some closure to this? And introduce your child, your son. This is my son, William, who is very anxious to get in the library, as I'm sure all of you are. Um, but I hope you will enjoy the library today. We have some special programs. We have four bands here throughout the day, a face painter, a clown, and a puppet show, and lots of food all day. So I'll turn it back right. to Luis. Thank you again, Sarah. All right, we're ready. Now, I'd like to thank all of you for being very patient. I know it's hot out there, so we're ready to go. Uh, I'm going to ask, we have some uh, lion dancers, and I'm going to ask the dignitaries to follow the lions, and let's do the ribbon cutting. 